Hey, hi guys. Um, got a 1965 Volkswagen Beetle here um, with a 2165cc engine, which again is not standard. Um, what I'm going to show you here is a quick 10-minute uh, video, just how to fit a distributor um, to the motor itself from scratch. Um, whether it will be the Bosch 009 distributor with the AccuSpark ignition kit or AccuSparks advanced vacuum. Um, distributor again with the electronic ignition kit. Currently on this unit I'm using the uh, the advanced vac um, for daily driving obviously the advanced vac is a lot better um, obviously for full race you can go anything to program programmable um, ignition kits. So first things first uh, is obviously to have a look at the motor itself um, best way to do it Again, it doesn't really matter if the distributor was on first or the distributor was off um, completely and you obviously you just fit one up yourself. First thing first is to crank the pulley um, just so it's at top dead centre. Um, this is currently marked, which I'll show you again, and obviously this is an aftermarket part, but you can get a timing pointer itself. Um, if not, you just use the centre of the case itself. So look over to the engine so from here you've got your top dead center mark with the timing pointer if we have a look down in the casing where the distributor will sit as you can see there um, the actual distributor drive key itself is offset if you look at the distributor itself the bottom of that is obviously offset as well so when you go to line it up and, and make sure you've got the offset set right and it should just slot straight in. Okay, just put you back there. Okay, so from there, get your distributor you, you're going to be using and obviously you clamp. Obviously you clamp. Just slot your distributed uh, bracket on just like that and uh, it's best on the Volkswagens or any engine I'd imagine the o-ring itself to whack a bit of oil on just so you can sit it in the case nice and easy so from there look inside and you want to check you want to check where it lies up so you put it in just like so push it down and then once the is in, obviously you can see the slight gap there, uh, that's not it's sat in right. So you just need to turn the, the rotor arm itself and it will pop in. Once you know it's in, give it a few turns and if it's locking off then you know it's sitting in straight. Okay. Once that is done, okay, obviously the rotor arm is now pointing at what would be the number three firing position. So again we need to crank need to crank the um, pulley round just so the number one sits at the number one firing order. Again on smaller engines this would be a lot easier. Uh, the engine that I'm running at the moment has quite a high compression ratio so as you can see it's a bit stiff trying to crank it round. But just take your time if you're not in no hurry take the plugs out and it will be a lot easier to turn it round itself. So as you can see it's coming back round and it's now coming in to number one firing order. So that's now at number one firing order and as you can see the rotor arm itself is now pointing at number one. Just give it a good wipe, make sure it's okay. So from there, okay, get your distributor cap that you're going to be using. From the slot just round at the back, um, you've got a slot on the distributor, so we know that the distributor cap will sit on like so, and then just turn it around. Should lock off. Once it's locked off, put the caps on. So as you can see on there, we know that that is number one. 
So looking back at your HC leads, just moving the wires there, you need to find the existing where the leads go. So this lead, obviously, I know that's number one. Uh, that's from the coil. This this lead here, which goes down, I know that I can backtrack, and that is number one. It looks a bit of a spaghetti junction, but once you're doing it, um, it's fine. So that's one. Okay, the firing order on the Volkswagen goes one, four, three, two. So I know that two is going to be this back one here. Okay, that, that's two. So like I said, three is going to be at the front and four is going to be here. So we've got four there, which as you can see clearly goes down to number four. Three, which just goes on there. Okay, as you can see on this, this cover, this distributor that I'm using, has the vacuum advance. So you'd need to find if you've got a vacuum port in the manifold itself or on the carb. On this particular carb that I'm running, the 48 Dorotos, um, I've got a vacuum port just at the back there. Um, it's probably quite hard to see, but obviously the vacuum pipe comes down from there. Okay. So from there, fit your vacuum pipe. When timing, uh, clamp the vacuum advance. Um, when you're doing your timing. So from there, that distributor is all in and piped up. Okay, so from there, the uh, distributor is all fitted and piped up. Okay, um, from here, obviously, you get your ignition kit. Uh, you've got a black lead which would go onto the negative side of the coil. Make sure you do this right uh, if you will do it wrong. Um, I have known people to fry them, uh, the ignition kits. So make sure you take your time and just check that they're in the right place. And then the, obviously the red goes on the positive side of the coil. Just like so. Once you've done that, just tuck the wires out of the way. You can sort all them out in a sec. Um, right, from here, um, we're good to start up. Um, just make sure you've got your timing gun um, on number one spark plug, which is back right, you've connected everything, your distributor's on, um, you can have it loose, don't worry about clamping it down, obviously you've got to set the timing, uh, which we'll do in a sec. Okay, we'll start her up. Okay, as you can see, it's quite lumpy at the moment. Good. Okay, what we're going to have to do is set the timing. So like I said, 30 degrees on the timing gun. When it's around the car, we 3,000 RPM. Okay, just check the timing, uh, it's pretty much bang on. You may need to adjust this, um, which again, you set your timing like You want to rev it to around about 3000 RPM, set it at 30 degrees maximum advance. Um, and again, like I said, if you're using the vacuum advance, clamp it off just so it's not making the vat. Um, if you're using just the standard Axis Spark 009 distributor, um, you just set that as normal. Once you're happy, just have a look. All good. 